Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agum Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. All right, guys, let's get into this reading. It's a three-card spread, including the top and bottom of the deck. I have your Orisha Tarot out here to clarify. Your first set is the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Air, Eight of Swords. Then we have the world in reverse, clarified by the lovers in the reverse, or the couple. Rounding out the spread, we got the four of cups in reverse, clarified by Shango. At the top of the deck, we have the six of cups in the reverse, clarified by the village or the tower. All right. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands, clarified by Yemaya in the reverse. All right, let's get into this, because there's a lot going on. There's a whole lot going on, and I feel like there's a lot of growth happening to you now, or changes that need to be made in order for you to be able to handle the growth coming into your life. Obviously, there is a certain path that you cannot uh, go back to, I'm seeing with the world and the lovers in the reverse. But um, I feel like either now or very soon, you, oh, okay, guys, I'm seeing something in the first set, but give me a sec. Now or very soon, you're gonna be questioning certain people you thought, it's gonna be people who you're gonna question, should I let them back in? But it, there will be questions about who I thought I wanted to work with or be with in the future, okay? I, I'm feeling that kind of energy where you may, have thought I needed somebody in either some form of financial or relationship kind of way um, that it's like, is it really worth it now? Okay, like that's just one thing I'm feeling. I don't know if you've said that to yourself recently, but I'm feeling that energy with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so with this um, Nine of Pentacles energy, we are dealing with the Orisha Oko. Okay, Oko is an Orisha of farming. Okay, he, he, he knows the mysteries of making things multiply. He knows how to make things multiply. So uh, what happened with his cult, it kind of became less popular as people moved from farming and agriculture, you know, into cities and different things like that. But then people started to go back to the cult of uh, Oko when they realized that um, Oko helped with growth around prosperity and around work, not just farming. He applies to more than just farming. And it's weird that um, this popularity thing, see, it, his, his, his cult became less popular when people thought it didn't work for them. Like, I can't use the energy of Oko, you know, because of what I'm doing over here. And, oh, all of a sudden, now that it's relevant to what I'm doing, then let me come back, okay? And I'm feeling that energy with people. I'm feeling it with family. I'm feeling it with, like, new people and maybe business things where you'll be wondering, I remember that I asked so-and-so to work with me on this and they didn't want to do it. And now that they've checked my social media or they're looking at all the orders I got or whatever, now here they come. They're, they're, they're sending me emails. They're calling me. DMing me and all this kind of stuff. So I'm picking this energy up that this rapid growth is going to have a lot of people coming your way, whether they be admirers uh, for personal relationships or business relationships, but you have to stop. You have to stop and say, why are they coming back? Is it genuine? You know, were they always there? Who was there? You know, who stuck around when it was just me trying to figure this thing out? OK, so I, you know, because it's not about when they come back. It really isn't about you. It's about something on you, around you, about you. You know what I mean? Like not the core of you, 
not the everything you went through to get to where you are, you. Just the results. And that's what they're looking for. Somehow they could be looking for you to somehow multiply something in their life. Or, um, I don't know. I just, I just don't really like that kind of energy. So here, we have the world in your next position. You have the world in reverse, clarified by the lovers in the reverse. And I asked whether or not this, uh, if the world should be in the upright or reverse. And it's 50-50. It's telling me that you guys are closing out cycles. Some of you are, and some of you need to. So, sorry guys, the sirens. One second. Some of you are closing out a cycle, and what's leaving a cycle open could be a partnership, uh, could be a family member, you know? This could be also thinking that you are supposed to be going down one path when you should be going down a completely different path, all right? So there is a need to close a cycle, leave a path, and go on the correct path is what I'm feeling with the world and the lovers, all right? Closing down that cycle, leaving that relationship, that partnership, that friendship, canceling contracts, oh my God, spiritual contracts canceling them they're actually over and the only way to cancel it is to choose to say i'm done dealing with it you don't owe with when the world comes whatever was old karmically what for whatever reason i got stuck with these motherfuckers you know what i mean like that is over they're telling you it's done it's done the lesson you learn whatever past life thing happened you've you've reached the reason why i had to work that thing out with so and so whether it be my brother sister mother i'm seeing something here or a lover I realized what it was. I realized where they brought me to, me getting past that situation. So it's done. You don't have to keep going. You owe nobody else anything, all right? <laughs> done, done. And so this is your third position, Four of Cups, um, clarified by Sean Go. You will have a lot of admirers and different people coming to you, but I'm seeing that with the Sean Go energy is that balance is the most important thing. And a lot of people, whether they come towards you in um, a meaningful way or like a, a selfish way, you know, for their own purposes, it all of these energies will try will throw you out of balance. You have to know what's important. You have to have your eyes open, you know, like a hawk to figure out when I do actually take a break from what I'm doing, who gets my energy kind of thing. Right. Another thing, too, we get we get this four of cups. Energy. Told you, Shango and Oya energy too. Okay, well you're right. <laughs> just, as soon, just as soon as I pick up his car, we get the done. All right. Okay. So, yes, take that as a sign. So yeah, yeah. I guess y'all could uh, take it as a sign <laughs> with uh, Shango. The other thing I am feeling though is because he is in the upright and indicating balance, is that there may be. Um, a relationship that is in balance for you, whether it be love or work. I mean, this set is sitting next to the world and the couple in reverse. And the world in this, this lovers in reverse is telling me that, you know, you close out those cycles, those karmic cycles with the ones that don't belong. You actually open up for your, for you to find um, your true balance, like your true match. Okay. And I'm not saying it's going to be the first person out the gate. Four of Cups says you have many admirers. I mean, even here at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Wands clarified by Yemaya. So it's not going to be like, you know, the first guy or girl you got on a date with. I always tell you guys in prior readings that don't go with the first thing, date. You know, I'm not telling you to, you know, sleep with everybody you date with. That's your business. But give yourself a chance to get to know people to to get connected to the right person because it seems like uh whatever is coming your way some of it someone is is good whether it's business or um love okay you know i don't see too many extra cards indicating like hardcore love but i, I just feel like it's something there so give yourself a chance to have a little fun all right because you seem to have grown you can see nine of pentacles you have more stability you're not in any form of desperation you could actually like take your time so take your time now um your top of the deck you have the six of cups in the reverse clarified by the village 
okay, or the tower, <laughs> more of that lightning, okay? So this tells me somebody from your past, Six of Cups in reverse, is angry. Someone's angry. You, they, they're mad that you've separated yourself from them. Mars energy is separation. Some, not all, but you do, some of you do have someone from your past that is violent. Mars energy could indicate violence. Uh, this could be a karmic partner or a karmic family member or friend. Six of Cups in reverse. Give me a second. I am picking up sexual energy at the top and bottom of the deck. I mean, it's there. Okay, so we'll get there, though. At the bottom of the deck, you have the five of wands clarified by Yemaya. This could be a mother figure who is jealous or women. I don't know if you guys work a lot, work around like a lot of women or something. Um, they could be jealous. This could also indicate, like I said before, sex. All right, because we do have the Scorpio feeling here. We got this Mars over here. We got Leo energy here, right? And then we got Yemaya's watery energy. So just being mindful that, you know, a lot of people find you very attractive. Other people are angry. You don't want to speak to them. Um, and people are trying to get into your energy. Four of cups in reverse, right? So don't fall out of balance by like maybe overindulging because those overindulgent energies of the devil, nine of cups in reverse, were in your previous reading. And if you are the type of person to possibly overindulge you are not in that same cycle anymore, okay? And because there's so much growth happening with you and you're freeing yourself from temptation here with the Eight of Swords, you just gotta, you know, keep yourself in balance. It's just letting you know that it will be a lot of energies coming your way that if you fall into it too much, you will fall out of balance. So, yeah, remember that. Remember that you, you're done. Like, you've closed the cycles. That's the other thing. Like, yeah, people are going to come at you and try to just come for your body. But it's like, uh, that was my last cycle. And I understand that. And I don't need to only do that. Like, I could look for more. There's more available. To, it is. It really is more. You've grown a lot, guys. There's so much growth here. Right? It's a lot. And things really are multiplying for you. You like right here. I don't I don't want to tell you there's no hermit. So there's no hermit mode. But there is this choice with the four of cups because I even see it here. You have this fairy. All right. Clarify. Not clarify. It's a fairy right after your tower. And then you have the four of cups. So remember, we said the four of cups is a divinity. Right. Waiting for the right thing to come. Um, rejecting things that don't apply. But this fairy really is protecting you here and bringing out your divinity. So I don't know whether it is remembering the four of cups or letting you know if you want to go back to the four, that's OK, because you could always come out. It's in the reverse here. You do have Shango here protecting you, letting you know I'm, I will bring you something right. So you don't have to be so guarded. But if you feel like I'm kind of tired of dating too many people right now or these exes or family members keep bombarding me because this this energy is like they're somebody is really trying to disrupt your peace here. They're planning to disrupt your peace. Where so you'll be like, uh, I want to go back into four of cups. Not necessarily a hermit, but just like some alone time. But they're saying just because those things happen, because you'll have someone try to disrupt your peace, or because you will go out on a date with you know a loser or something like that, doesn't mean you have to sit there indefinitely. We're always around you, protecting you. So it's okay to venture out. We've filled your bank up. We've brought in new opportunities. You have a stronger awareness and spiritual ability. You can see what people you want to work with and don't want to work with. We'll send you dreams if necessary. Some of you really close these cycles out, all right? Because it, it helps you be stronger, smarter, right? Close them out. And they're saying like, you, you've been through it all and you're smarter than what you you know, have, may have thought in the past. So don't be so afraid. Don't be so afraid, okay? You don't have a lot to fear. Um, it's just really going to notice a lot of, like, crazy shit with some people. Somebody is angry. Somebody's angry, angry, all right? It's from your past. It's either a family member, lover, friend. Definitely here. Uh, element of Earth at the bottom. Um, right after that is Oba in the reverse. So someone is jealous of your material. Um, circumstances, even here, two of earth, two of pentacles. It's just changed. People, people think you're lucky rather than a hard worker. 
they think you're more lucky than hardworking, which is weird. That doesn't make any sense. But it's because either they, you know, you've really separated yourself and you've been doing your own thing. You haven't been talking about all your moves or what you're doing. So when it comes out that, you know, you got this money or people are sensing it, um, they think it's just some random luck. Like you did something. Hold on. Mm, protect yourself and move on. You really do have a, a very strong codependent feminine energy here. Queen of Cups. After the Six of Cups in reverse. So if some of you, it really is your mother or like a wife or somebody. or um, It's a feminine. It's a feminine. It could be, doesn't have to be your mother. It could be like a mother figure or something like that. Hold on. You need a break from this energy though. Definitely Four Swords in reverse. The Chariot in reverse. Seven of Cups. People really are digging in. They window shop you. <laughs> they don't go to the to the mall or wherever to window shop. They literally window shop you. They go to your social media and they and then Ace of Wands, I really feel like they plan. Some people are looking at you with a lot of fantasies. Some people really want to get in your pants. Okay, Seven of Cups, Ace of Wands. But uh if it's not that, it's like they, they want to make a plan or start something with you. You all you gonna realize all I needed was God. <laughs> like no joke. That all I needed to do was get myself into my alignment, like spiritually aligned, and then everything starts flowing. It all starts flowing so much easier. It it does. It really does. This is good. This is good. Because I know you guys are strong. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. If the reading resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you want to book a personal reading, the link to book is in the description box below. All right, guys, see you.